Today, we had a nice one and done trade on SPY. Again, it was just so slow because of the huge drop from yesterday. So I was glad that we were able to catch this one and done type of trade. Let's go right into the live trading video. What is Loki Jason right now if I took it? So now this is looking good. If it keeps rejecting that 376. Green or red on NQ. They almost green the red it on NQ. They had it for a second and they brought it right back up. 376 is rejected now. This is looking phenomenal. Scalping this. Dude, these contracts are just moving today for some reason. These contracts are moving more today than yesterday. 375.5. All right, I'm taking about 80% off here. Moving stop loss to break even. See how it's holding that five range, that 375.5. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Stop loss is the break even, so 375.77. I'll just let it do its thing. Yeah, 0.5 is having mad trouble. Just let it breathe. All right, I'm taking about 10% more off here. So I got 90% left. I mean, no, 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 90% out, 90% out. No, 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 90% out. <laughs> Someone loads the boat. <laughs> oh? Yeah, 90% out. I still got 10% left. I want to see what we do. But look how much we came down so far. So that's why I'm just letting it breathe. <laughs> so no. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why I just that's why I sound just letting it breathe. Oh my gosh. Take a little more off here as we're approaching at 375. So 90% out. 375. If we get 375, that'll be the rest out. Um but I only have five percent left of the contract. Stop loss is gonna be three seventy five point five on the rest. That'd be nuts. If I catch this three seventy five, bro. If I'm riding spy contracts all day, it'd be nuts. Nah, it's probably not gonna move that much if you weren't in it. Yeah. Three, two, one, three seventy five. That low three seventy five. They're going to have to bounce it. And this is why I'm 95% out. Yeah, 375.5 is my stop loss. I only have 5% contracts left, so I could just, I'm just either 375.5 or 375. My last sell was that low of that push a minute ago. And the market, the market's gonna do the same thing. <laughs> Here it comes, 375. Oh, they can't, they're, they're not gonna be able to break that. No way, they keep bouncing that. No way, now they bounce it twice, that's nuts. 375, 
they tr they did <laughs> by once i don't think they fully filled it though they didn't fully fill it 375 there it goes there it goes oh yeah i'm out so nice <laughs> yo our cell was crazy on that all right, so here we can see Spy, again, from FOMC, we had this huge sell-off bringing us down to this range right here on Spy. Again, this daily does not look good either, as we see right here. This daily is not looking the best. We have our support zone down here and our resistance zone here. So everything we're going to be playing was our intraday setups today. So let's go back to this one minute, and you guys can see right here, right from the morning, we had a nice pump right there as people probably just taking profits overnight. And then we came right back down, coming right back down. That break of that low day looked nice as well. I didn't take that. Came down 376. I had my eyes on 376. 376 looked good. It broke it. I didn't want to chase it because it broke and NQ didn't look good. I did not catch that. And just the way they came down, I felt like it needed a bounce. Then it came down and then kind of bounced. Again, my zone was not here beforehand. This was not here at all. So don't even regard this. What happened was this 376 right here this line right here it broke it came back up and retested it that's what i like to look for i like to take a breakout or i like to take when it breaks out and retest it so this was a breakout and a retest of that 376 just because of how it came down i know that it needed to pull back a little bit and then go so this pulled back a little bit as people were taking profits I saw it rejecting 376 and then this is where I entered at that 941 and then once I started seeing it hold up around that 375.5 that's when we started taking some profits and then we were just scaling down scaling down and then we literally sold at the bottom of that move as you guys saw right there when that 375 broke that's when I got out again you got to stick to your plan my plan was to sell at 375 on the rest of the contracts just move my stop loss down with it then that's where I sold right there. That was literally the bottom of this move. As you guys saw, the next candle literally went right back up to our break even. But again, you know, I appreciate the love. You guys have been blowing up these videos. If you guys stay till the end of the video and you're not a part of my chat room, I'm giving another five spots for 50% off to my chat room. If you guys just DM me on Instagram, I'm rewarding you guys not only for staying through the whole video, but for showing love. But if you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure you guys subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.